And it's a wonderful Wednesday morning. Welcome to ABC 25 Local Lifestyles. I'm Angie Humphrey. I'm Ron Rhodes. Hey, it's not quite as hot today as it was yesterday. I was really surprised, yeah. but you know, the storm did cool things off. Oh my goodness, 20 degrees in, in less than okay. an hour. The temperature just plummeted. And then we have like a spectacular sunset. I've got a good one to show you later on. Oh, do you now? I well, do just indeed. stay tuned for that. I certainly <laughs> will. Coming up today on Local Lifestyles, the Literacy Center of Evansville has received a well deserved honor. We'll hear the story of innovation. New Beginnings of Owensboro invites you to a life saving event for victims of sexual assault, and we'll have the dic uh, ticket details today. And Seabury, Kentucky, throwing a go. great big anniversary party 150 years of community. We'll find out all the big details and how you can join that party. Party. Seton Harvest invites you to a lovely evening of food. It's time for the Twilight Dinner. And Mercy Urgent Care is there for your family's health this school year and beyond. Big show today. Big, lots big of show. moving parts, lots of people. Oh, we got moving parts. I so do it. I have to move more? Or should I move less? That way I won't be in the way of moving parts. Well, I'll leave that to your I will, discretion. <laughs> I will stand totally still and give this weather forecast real okay, fast. Let's, let's take a look we outside. Can't. I can't do it. I, know, I cannot you do, can't it. do it. Anyway, we, it is a little hazy out there, but it's not as bad as far as the heat and humidity combination is what we have. Had yesterday, I will say that. As we look at our downtown camera, at one point this morning, for about an hour, Angie, we could not see the Veteran Building from the top of Fifth Third Bank, which is foggy. where. Our, uh, yes, foggy? the fog was so thick. And so that was from our iMark camera up there on top of Fifth Third Bank. So, yeah, it was a very foggy morning for some. Did you not get up early enough to see the fog, though, I guess? Apparently not. I guess not. <laughs> I don't know. Right. I, I wasn't looking for it. 82 degrees right now. Yesterday at this time, of course, it was getting close to 90. It, it was, was 89 awful. degrees. And no, we did hit 91 for a high. But again, once that front moved through, it's like the temperature just dropped so quickly. Got our west wind at 8. Not bad. We still got a breeze out there. Look at the dew point. It's, dew point it's 68. Not it's under too bad. 70. And if it's under 70, it's good. I don't think it's going to stay under 70 for the rest of the day. But. It's there now, and let's enjoy now, right? Let's enjoy now. <laughs> well, you ready to get to today's Daily Dish I'm on this ready. Wednesday? I'm always ready. Roll the dish. Well, you know, we're consumers oh. of a lot of frozen meals around these parts. and. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, and just, just today, our friends uh, Ron and Joe <laughs> and Jake had this conversation about the frozen meal that we're eating because... Ron says they're too full of carrots, so please yes. hold, hold forth, if you will. Well, here's the thing. I will hold forth. I, I do like this, uh, the soapbox to get on. Here's you make it on the soapbox, I think please. there's been a bumper crop of you know, carrots. Now, I will eat like a microwave meal almost every day for lunch. They're so convenient. They are, and some of them are really good. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. This is my, after I finish, isn't that a, a delightful looking sight? No, it's actually disgusting. Well, Thanks. I know, <laughs> you know, well, look, I had like turkey, some mashed potatoes, and but I had my vegetable medley... Uh, it was carrots and broccoli. I had two broccoli florets. I had, seriously, there are a dozen carrots right there. I had already eaten a dozen. So there's over two dozen carrot slices in there to two broccoli florets. That is not a good ratio. It's not a good ratio. And, it's not, and Marie Callender's not the only one doing this. I mean, I've noticed it was all microwave meals. They're loading us down with carrots. Now, maybe they're worried about my eyesight. That might be and it. And they may be. They but probably I, should be. You'll also notice that they load you down with there's a pasta in there. It, the bulk of it is pasta. <laughs> That's why I avoid pasta. Yeah. I didn't even get pasta anymore on the dishes because you're right. It's like you'll have like two little slices of turkey or little turkey chunks, mm -hmm. and then you'll have like the rest of it being just pasta. Well, now that you've brought this to the attention of the public, what do you plan to do about it? I'm going to write my congressman and woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write everyone who represents me in some way, shape, or form. There's probably uh, there's probably a committee that investigates the content of frozen meals or some thing. I guess extra carrots is better than maybe say extra. Flies or other bug parts. Well, there, there, like you know, there are acceptable levels of that <laughs> yeah, kind of stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't if, even if want If you ever read up on that, you, you will stop eating for a day when you find out how many bug parts, how many right. pounds yeah. of bug parts are in your Aren't food you that you eat every year. Aren't you all glad you tuned in today? Aren't you? Enjoy your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you this: Have you ever dreamed of having your coffee and a snack while petting a raccoon? No. Well, probably not. But customers in the Ukraine are waiting 30 minutes tops just to cuddle with a raccoon. The cafe owner says the, he bought the raccoons when they were babies. Where does one purchase? Never mind. Uh, he says he studied the animals and talked to veterinarians before bringing the raccoons into his cafe. Visitors say not everyone has access to raccoons, so it's nice to pet one in a cafe. Thoughts? Yeah. Your thoughts? Yeah, I've got a lot of thoughts Nancy, on this. Nancy and Annette from the River Kitty <laughs> Cafe. Is this the next day? The uh, next I day? don't see this happening anytime soon. I can't believe it was allowed to happen to begin with. You know, I've, I've 
run across a few raccoons, especially when they're eating and they're not friendly. They weren't friendly to me. But I guess if you're feeding them, I mean, like... Well, he, ra he hand-raised them from babies. That's that different helps. than having a, a wild one. But still, oh, they got yes. teeth and stuff. Yeah, and claws yeah, and that claws are pretty and sharp, them. too. <laughs> That's the thing. And it's like, well, I guess so do squirrels. And it's like, I will feed the squirrels sometimes, too, even if I'm not supposed to. Like, you know, these, oh, well, look how plump these dudes are. They're getting well-fed. I think if they're well-fed, they're going to be okay. It's those skinny raccoons out there who are eating something. Well, they're those hungry. Are the ones That's you need. right. They're gonna, watch out those for those are the ones raccoons. you need to worry the most well, about. Well, I mean, it's an idea. I would say it's probably the only one in the world. I think it is, but why is there not a ferret cafe? And I'm going to hold for for ferrets. More ferrets, less, less carrots. carrots. <laughs> That's my new my boy, campaign oh slogan. Boy. I love <laughs> Roads, it. 2020. <laughs> More ferrets, fewer carrots. <laughs> Goodness sake. Well, now if you're if you're a Marvel fan, you, you might be uh, sad to hear this news because the Marvel Universe is about to change just a little bit. That's because Disney's Marvel Studios yes, yes, and Sony yes. Pictures cannot come to an agreement on yes. money. Imagine that in Hollywood. Yeah, really. Variety yes. Magazine says Disney wants both companies to chip in because Sony really owns Spider-Man and they've sort of bought him to move into the Marvel Universe. So the two companies, if they can't reach an agreement, Marvel Studios president will not produce future Spider-Man films, which is kind of crazy since they just released Spider-Man Far From Home, and it's the largest grossing uh, Spider-Man movie so far, 1.1 billion worldwide, and wasn't that just last weekend? Probably so. Well, you're a bigger Marvel person than I am. I mean, you take, you know, Tessa there, your granddaughter, all the time. You go to these Marvel movies. Mm -hmm. You like them. I like them, too. Yeah. Although, to hear Jake Boswell talk, it's the same plot every time. So well, it kind of is. It kind of is. But, you know. but it's fun. It's rousing entertainment. It's, it's, those are like good popcorn movies. And it's fun mm -hmm. to, to watch. And really, the, the graphic, the special effects have gotten so good that it, they really are dazzling. You know, they really, eyes, they really senses, are. And it's entertaining. And you get Why? invested in now that all the team of them being together and the relationship between Spider-Man and Tony Stark. And now, no I, more of I, that. I never made it past Thor. The first Thor kind of lost me in the Marvel Universe. Well, jump back in. <laughs> jump back into that one. I've got like about 20 more to go. <laughs> you can binge watch. I could do that. I might have to do that. All right. Well, while he's binge watching, we'll, <laughs> we'll be back. John McNulty is here from the Mercy Urgent Care. We're going to find out about all of their services this school season. There's John.